Now to a Global News exclusive and the controversial transfer of murderer Luca Magnotta to a medium security prison. Tonight, we're learning Correctional Service Canada instructed staff to keep quiet over the transfer two years ago. The organization says it's policy not to announce prison transfers. Taria Isri joins us now with more details. Taria? Carolyn, Luca Magnotta is one of Canada's most notorious murderers. Magnotta was transferred from a maximum to medium security prison on August 11th, 2022. Three days earlier, Correctional Service Canada instructed staff not to inform the public about the move. And as a result, the transfer did not come to light for nearly two years. A Correctional Service Canada staff member sent an email on August 8th, 2022 with talking points. We do not announce transfers as we don't disclose the location of offenders. If asked, we would advise media that the Privacy Act does not allow us to speak about specific offenders' cases. Magnata is serving an indeterminate life sentence for murdering and dismembering international student June Lin in 2012. Magnata was moved to La Macaza, northwest of Montreal. The same medium security prison serial killer Paul Bernardo was also transferred to. In both cases, government officials said privacy laws prevented them from releasing information. We're talking about prisoners who have committed horrendous crimes, but their rights are protected like any other citizen. Canada's former correctional investigator says there's room for more transparency. Explain the law. Explain why the law is the way it is. Explain what those principles are based on. The Correctional Service said in a statement to Global News, it takes privacy concerns very seriously and that the system is based on rehabilitation, even for offenders who remain incarcerated for the rest of their lives. Carolyn? Terea Isri in Ottawa, thank you.